Hi, I'm Mary Kitchen for Red Carpet Diary here at the Visa Screening Room. Now, I'm going to let you in on a little secret. Tonight, the closing night gala at the Toronto International Film Festival is the world premiere of Emotional Arithmetic. That will happen at 8 p.m. at Roy Thompson Hall. However, about 1,200 lucky people will get the chance to see it about 90 minutes earlier here at the Visa Screening Room. Yesterday, we spoke to the director, Paolo Barsman. The film deals with the, that question of the paradox being that to move on in life you have to forget. You can't remember all the horrors that happened, otherwise you become yourself this awful museum of horror. And cynical and maybe be a little more sociable. You're not suggesting that I tap dance every time someone says something wonderful about life. And at the same time, if you don't want things to repeat themselves, you have to remember them. So it's, the film deals with that fine balance. What do you, what can you forget without it being a betrayal? I mean, don't you know how hard it was for me to get my life together after all this time? To... There was a hidden discussion about memory, which wasn't up front, but which was there. I think nowadays we just erase everything. Everything goes so fast. It's an avalanche of information, images, and we just don't even, we don't even know what we're forgetting. There are ghosts which are moving around between these characters ghosts uh, of love, of, uh, of resentment, all kinds of what makes the stuff that links people. Uh, but it's not really said in words. And to express all those subtleties of relationships, um, you need great actors. And like the face of, uh, the face of Max von Sydow is a stage, is yeah. a theater in itself. It was getting into that, the theater of the face, where those very subtle uh, movements are suddenly connecting with internal emotions. When I saw this picture, I thought, uh, I thought you were my grandfather. Because he's a very nice person and a very good director and a very sensitive and uh, gives his actors a lot of confidence and freedom. And that's very nice for actors. It's a film about um, the impossibility of. Uh, reliving the past and it's a film about memory and how memory can be very unreliable as a as a, a guide track in your life and it's also about the the the, the torturous and complex uh, world of love and marriage and how a bitter and traumatic event can haunt uh, the present and that although we like to think that in very simple kind of band-aid um, popular psychology, the idea that we face up to, deal with, and then move on from the experience. Um, really, that's a cliche. And sometimes it's not possible to move on. And sometimes it is not possible to forget. And sometimes the wound doesn't heal. If someone dies, do you just try to forget that they were in your life to make it less painful? Do you try to delude yourself and not think about those experiences but if not and, and taking those experiences and try to in some way be a better person or to you know bear witness to history in some way then how do you include your family in that it's always important to remind people particularly young people of what has gone on before i mean the history is not very interestingly taught these days or it's rather ignored i mean people think that uh, history is sort of last years president of the United States and then they don't know anything beyond that.